Double away, Mr. Joe. <laughs> What we're doing here is uh, this is a okay. This is a modern interpretation of an ancient Roman device technology uh, that predates Christianity. The Romans, of course, huge road builders, uh, massive structures all over Europe. And in the process of building on that scale, they devised this device, which goes contemporaneously by the name of trommel, which is a, a Germanic term for drum. And all this is is a rotary sifter. Uh, we did the research on this. We started off uh, two years ago when we broke ground here at uh, Tri-Neighborhood Community Garden of Norfolk on July 2nd of 2009. We began with uh, flat screen uh, sifters. We started off with quarter by quarter welded wire, galvanized welded wire mesh, and that worked well, basically on a two by frame. And then uh, we shifted we found it was very effective, it was beautiful, but it was too slow. So then we upgraded to a half by half welded wire mesh galvanized, and that also worked well. Works. We're still using both of those devices, but they're much slower than we need for the amount of work that we're doing. And this is a quantum improvement. Uh, this is represents about Oh, probably an hour and a half's worth of work right now. And as you can see, come on over here if you would, and I'll show you where we're going with this is, uh, there's still little tiny bits of, you can see the red, the brick, and there's little, if you see a little tiny flashes, you'll see maybe a little tiny pieces of, of stone, brick, maybe a little tiny, chunks, uh, small chunks of glass, but the majority of it is clean. And then shifting over here, you can see this is what we're sorting out of our, of our soil. So our plants don't have to deal with, you know, chunks of rock, brick, stone, broken glass. Uh, there's uh, every once in a while, we find you know, little little treasures in the soil, little uh, insulators and uh, uh, artifacts from 1870, 1880, uh, uh, left over from the construction that was uh, done on this site. So we're pleased to get this level. Hi, Mr. Bob. We're uh, we're pleased to get this level of material. And from here, you can see that's just very workable. And we'll set this soil aside where we can add this to uh, compost and blend the compost together with the soil and make uh, optimistically the goal here is to create a optimal environment for our plants. Beyond just the plants, in the process we're creating an optimal environment for the birds, the bees, the butterflies, and the people.
And if you would, Richard, if you come and catch the, the label, let me get the name for you here. Watch, clear. All right, here we go. Get that, if you would. And what does that stand for, Mr. Joe? This is, uh, TNCG is the Tri-Neighborhood Community Garden of Norfolk. And Trommel is the uh, Germanized uh, term describing this device, this concept, which is just a rotary sifter originated by the Romans in their massive building projects. And this one is uh, the result of research that I did. Uh, we knew from day one here in the garden that we had a lot of rock, a lot of stone, a lot of uh, broken glass in the soil that we wanted to get rid of. So we began by sifting it with uh, quarter by quarter welded wire mesh and that worked well but it was slow and then we went to half inch by half inch welded wire mesh and that worked better, still a bit slow. So this is our third uh, iteration of our sifting process and uh, this is a, a rotary screen trommel uh, and uh, as you can see this is two 55 gallon drums which we salvaged and the uh, framework is part of an old uh, stair stepper device from a, a used uh, piece of exercise equipment from a gymnasium and then the rest is extended pipes the framework you see is uh, right angle steel from scrap bed frames and the wheels that you see here and the larger wheels on the bottom those are from a, uh, a grocery cart that we pulled out of a ditch and the motor itself is from an old uh, uh, five gallon paint mixer and that's a half horsepower uh, 110 uh, 1750 rpm motor geared down to right about 42 RPMs is what we're running at now. And that gives the material, the, the, the soil inside the trommel enough time to go ahead and rise up to about this point on these right angle steel braces inside it. And then gravity goes to work and it falls and breaks and continues to fall and break. And then you'll, if you, you step back, you'll see that there's a little bit of a mild down angle on this. And that's just uh, to allow gravity to assist us. The, you'll see the largest pile of soil underneath is right here where the, uh, the majority of the soil is breaking up and falling out. And then the solid material, which is stones, rocks, bit, bits of glass, are going to the end and they're falling into these containers over here. And this whole device was uh, built uh, primarily of recycled material and it was done with the uh, great help of Randy Harrell, uh, a garden volunteer and a wonderful designer and, uh, and myself and we're pleased. Uh, it's, Today's, uh, we've used, we, we used it one time in the shop in the construction process, but the, today's the first day we've used it actually out on site. And so far, if you can see, if you can come around this side, I'll show you the, uh, this, is, this, is, this is our, at this point, this is our finished product. And there is a little tiny bit of uh, stone, rock, but it, the soil is relatively fine. And then to this, we can add a little bit of sand, vermiculite, perlite, whatever we need. And the, the plants are just gonna absolutely love it because that's, that's a real, real nice growing medium. So this is uh, the result of probably uh, two months worth of research and then construction, and we're very pleased with the results.